Well, we are about to go up the gondola. You can see it behind me. I'm a little bit nervous because it looks really steep and I don't like heights, but Corey doesn't care. He's going to put me on a gondola and at the top, we're going to go luging. I'm very excited. The Charlotte is very nervous. I feel I sick. <laughs> oh dear. All right, Shazzy, you're up. Oh no. <laughs> Go on. Ooh. Oh, they go really fast. Where's the middle? Make sure the weight is evenly distributed. Ah. I don't think I'll be doing this again, eh? I will. I think I want to walk down. All right. You ready to get boosted? How, why does it boost you? <laughs> ah! Here we go. Wow, look at that view behind no. us. Look at the view. Already. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe you made me do something like this is really cool and I, I have been lots of gondolas but it's usually depending on you know what the landscape and this is just so steep. I don't Oh god Hold on. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna go down. Mm. I'm not going on the luge, I'm too much for me today. You survived, Shares. Well done. Honestly, that was so scary. I didn't really. Um, I think going down is going to be scarier because it's so steep. But amazing view. Nearly cried. All right, let's stop. <laughs> Oh, we made it up to the Skyline Terminal now, and man, Queenstown looks so far away. And we've just got this amazing view. There's like paragliders coming past. You've got town down below, the gondolas. There's luges going underneath. It is just all going on. Look at this guy. <laughs> How cool is that? Wow. And we've got amazing views, obviously, of the Remarkables over here, Lake Wakatipu. Wow, what a place. The view is amazing. Worth me nearly vomiting in a gondola. <laughs> My, it's an option to walk down, though. Oh my gosh. It looks like we're off to the luge now. We're off to the luge. It looks like you can walk up or go on the, uh, what are they call the ski. That's a chairlift. Chairlift. Um, so I think this time we'll go up on the chairlift. Bit of a queue. Have we go. That bloody hurt, that did. Well, we made it onto the chairlift. Yeah, we got our helmets on. We are ready to go. Excited? I said anyone can do this. So hopefully that includes me too. <laughs> so it looks like if you take the walk up from the top terminal and you walk up towards the top of the luge track, uh, there's lots of little spots you can have a little picnic. Yeah. And I think here you could probably watch people jumping off with the uh, parachutes. It looks pretty wild. Paragliders. Paragliders. Right, get ready to go. Oh my god, look at that view. What a view. We have got the best weather conditions today. Okay, let's go and be the slowest person on the luge. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
How's that, Shaz? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Not as scary as you thought? Not as scary. I managed to do it much better than some other people on there. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> this time we're going to try and take a different track because it splits at the start. Yeah. And um, yeah, so maybe it'll be a different experience. Maybe a bit faster. Again. You feeling more confident? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. A lot, a lot of fun. I had a blast. Shazzy, you enjoy that? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Loads of fun. <laughs> Do you want to scan it? Alright, let's scan it. It does look like a bit of a construction site up here at the moment, and that's because it is. <laughs> They're building bigger and better facilities. I can't wait to see what they build up here next. Got some lunch, Shazzy? After all that adrenaline activity? All the adrenaline, we needed some food. We just popped to the cafe. There's a nice restaurant upstairs, but just grabbing some snacks. Before we're gonna go back and chill and then come back later for some stargazing. So the cafe we're sitting at has the most incredible view of the Remarkables mountain range. And I actually learned why they're called the Remarkables yesterday from my brother. He told me that they are remarkable because they are one of only two mountain ranges in the world that run directly north to south. I guess that's an uncommon thing. And yeah, this is one of them. So um, they really, really are an incredible mountain range. Bit of snow up there at the moment, but the view from this cafe 
and from the restaurant. I think the restaurant's below us, but the views are just floor to ceiling windows and they've obviously got this wraparound balcony as well, which is incredible to just take a little wander around and look over the lake and all the ranges around. And the other thing to remember is that this isn't a paid view. You can actually access this place for free. If you walk up from Queenstown, you take the Tiki Trail, um, you'll come up all through this beautiful forest. And that is actually the track which you would take if you wanted to hike from Queenstown to Ben Lomond. Um, or the alternative option is to take the gondola up to this point here and then walk. I think it's a five hour return from here to the summit. Um, so that is something we may do on our Queenstown adventures as well. Back on the gondola. No. I actually would have happily walked down for two hours, but Corey says no. <laughs> it's starting. What was that? <laughs> Ready? Take up in three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Look down. What's that? Corey! Corey! <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know what's worth this or flying. Don't move! No! The equilibrium! Sit in the middle! My bag's there, balance. You're not as heavy as the bag! Ah! <laughs> it's Corey! <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Oh, this is horrific. I look excited but my hands are so wet and I feel like I might vomit. Oh my gosh, it's just so steep. It's crazy steep. Is this the steepest gondola I've ever been on? Okay, the sun has set, night has come and we are heading back up the hill on the gondola which Charlotte is very excited about. <laughs> this time it's in pitch black. There is no lights at all. And I'm thinking that's so you can get a great view of the city or the night sky, but yeah, there's not even like a light inside the gondolas. But we're going up to the top because we have a stargazing tour booked. Ooh. It is 8.45, I think it begins. Yeah, our booking. It's around about an hour long, so I'm very excited. We've got a super clear night. Let's go and check it out. <laughs> not again. I can't believe we're doing this twice in one day. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Corey, don't wind me up. Ooh, the breeze. It is really weird going up here when you can't see anything around you. All we can see is the city below, but when you're facing this way, as we're going up, I mean, you can't even see which way we're going. <laughs> but. We've got me nearly there. It just feels like we're kind of floating. It's like a mystery ride. Where are we going? It's really scary. Are we there yet? My eyes, ears are popping. I'm gripping the chair. There you go, Shazzy. Somehow more terrifying at night. Safe and sound. Okay, we have arrived and we are just waiting at the Stratosphere Bar. It says tour check in here, so we're just gonna wait here until our tour starts, but this is a really lovely place. In the daytime, you've got amazing views, but at nighttime, actually, you can't see too much outside because it's so bright inside and everything reflects off the glass. But in the daytime, the views are just panoramic over Queenstown, so it's incredible. At nighttime, it turns into a bit of a entertainment venue. There's like live music and there's a big buffet, um, a huge eating area, like a restaurant area. I don't know if you can order a la carte, but if you go to the Stratosphere Bar, you can order drinks and tapas, which is good. And uh, yeah, we're just hanging out and waiting for our stargazing tour. Can you check it on? <laughs> we are outside for an hour, so they have loads of jackets to give everybody because everyone gets a bit colder than they expect. They look like a Michelin man. We're like Eskimos. This is our haunted tunnel right here. Now, if you are any taller than I am, you will have to duck, otherwise you'll be seeing stars a lot sooner than we <laughs> <laughs> um, So, firstly, I'm going to point out our telescope. So, our tel we've got three telescopes. They're all Celestron 11-inch telescopes made in the United States. When we're talking in terms of telescopes, we don't talk like zoom lenses like we do with cameras. We talk in terms of the diameter of that piece of glass. And the larger the diameter, the further we can see. 
see. 11 inches quite big and it does mean we'll be able to see into different galaxies this evening. Ooh. Well, we've just finished up our tour and we learned so much, didn't we? It yeah, that was really good. What, What's your head? That's here for the tunnel. We're going on, on the luge track that we were on earlier and they had three massive telescopes that they have over from America. And we just saw like granddad stars and nebula. Teenage stars, really old stars. Yeah, we had a beautiful clear night sky, so the whole Milky Way and the tour's just finished and the clouds are coming over, so it just finished at the perfect time. But yeah, that was really, really cool. I really enjoyed it. Well, what was the favourite thing you saw? Uh, I like that granddad star. With the cloud? Yeah, like the old star. And we saw a shooting star. Oh yeah, we saw a shooting star. shooting star, actually. We saw it like, burn up as it kind of came into the atmosphere. Oh, well, we learned how to find the how to find south if we are ever lost. We can look up at the stars now and we know how to navigate using the stars by calculating where south is by using the Southern Cross and our pointer stars, um, Alpha Centauri and Beta Centauri. And you clap in the sky. Stargazing, show us. So how do you use it? Follow the chart above you and we get the seven stars. Good. Well, they finish off the tour with a drink. You can choose a hot chocolate or a beer or a wine, and I've gone for a non-alcoholic beer and the Stratosphere Bar. And we're, we're going to head back down soon for some more adventures around Queenstown.